Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is John Hammond and welcome back to another YouTube video. Still looking at the Python challenge, this online riddle full of challenges that we can solve with Python. Uh, and we're on challenge number 18 right now. So I'm presented <laughs> with these uh, two pictures of, of, of geese, I think. Those are, those are geese, right? Geese. Let's, let's Google geese. Oh yeah. Yeah, those are, those are totally geese. Are, those, are they swans? Swans. They're swans. Damn, that's a hit to my intelligence. <laughs> All right. Yeah, here we go. Challenge 18. The first part of the challenge is to figure out what animal you're actually freaking looking at. It's been a while. I don't really get out much. I go to college um, in, a, in a place that's not really a college. Here we go. Um, I'm trying to find the difference between the Im these two images. The source here says, can you tell the difference? So that's obviously our goal here. Find the differences. It says, it's more obvious than what you might think. That's helpful. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> um, let's try and poke this stuff in Python. I'm going to save this image in a level 18 folder. I've already got that created. I'll save this. Fire up uh, Sublime Text. My text editor of choice here. I'll get to code Python challenge level 18. Let's call this solve.py. Okay, let's get a shebang line. Bin environment Python. I literally screw up a shebang line every single time I try and type it. And let's just take, take this image apart, because right now it is just one image. It is just literally one image with two of them side by side. So let's try and split them up. Um, image equals image dot open. And I save this as, did I save this? I did save this. Yeah, balloons.jpg. If, uh, if it's not already been saved, please go ahead and save it. I just forget everything now. <laughs> I'm getting old. And let's size equals uh, width and height equals image size. Let's say that image one can equal, I'm just going to crop it for one thing. So let's go crop from the top left. Well, most left position is zero. Top position is zero. Uh, most right position is width divided by two. And bottom position is height. I can do this for image two. We can say that most left position is width divided by two and right is going to be width all the way and then height be the same thing again. So now image one equal I think I can do this right? <laughs> Let's do it anyway. Crop image one which is the same thing with image two. Now can I run image one dot show and image two dot show? Yes, okay, cool. So now we have these two pictures. Let's cut them up. Actually, just save them just in case we need them. Image one dot save. Uh, image one dot JPEG. Do the same thing for image two. Let's run this one more time. So they are now saved. Um, and let's actually check out the difference between these two of them. We can do that with the image chops module again. Image channel operation. Let's image chops. It does have a difference function. Image chops difference. Difference. Whoa, I'm super zoomed into this page. Difference. Returns the absolute value of the difference between the two images. Okay, whatever. Let's try it. Let's see if that's actually what they mean. Because if it is, like, dude, that'd be awesome. <sighs> it is a lot easier than we thought. And let's just show that because it'll return an image. Thanks, Sublime Text. I don't want to. Okay, we get nothing. <laughs> At least nothing interesting. Same picture here. Ah, uh, damn it. Back to the drawing board, I guess. Here we go. Two swans. It's more obvious than what you might think. Okay, well, this picture's lighter and this picture's darker. That's something. This picture is the same picture. This picture's a uh, picture just darkened. This picture is the same picture. Just picture just brightened. The difference is there is is, is brightness, right? <laughs> is that it? Like light. Nope. What about brightness? Oh. Oh shit, that didn't that didn't get me a 404. Uh is it the same page? Control U? Whoa, 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 whoa. New hints. Maybe consider deltas.gz. Ooh, that's something. 
So uh, let's get back to that. Deltas.gz. Is that a file that I can access? Deltas.gz. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, sweet. All right, let's save this. Let's uh, open that up. Uh, code. Python challenge. Level 18. Deltas GZ. Ooh, let's extract a text file out of that. Cool. Now, what is this thing? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Bunch of hex stuff, I think. What the hell is that? There's a lot of these lines. I'm going to scroll down. Oh, wow, there are a lot of these. Down at the bottom. Whoa, down at the bottom, it's only like the right column looks exists. Uh, let's. All right. Two columns. I can, see, I can see that with like that divide here in the center, you know, over where my cursor is. 8950, 4E, 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 
So sequence one equals line up to 55. Sequence two equals line 55 to the end. And that's all I want. Let's just see if those actually work. I'm going to break out of this. I'm not going to have it display for all of them, but... Okay, sweet. Yeah, it does work. And let's just strip these down. Oh. Sweet. Okay. So now we have sequence 1 and sequence 2. That's that's fine. Now we can compare the differences between the two of them, right? Um... Oh, we need diff lib. Duh. We need that. We need actual that module. Import diff lib. It is built in by default, right? Yeah, sick. Okay, cool. Um, D, because it has to be a different object, I said, right? Yep. Class.differ. Differ, differ. I'll just call it differ. Differ equals diff lib dot differ. Differ dot compare sequence one and sequence two comparison we'll call that I guess and can I print out can I print out the comparison oh this is probably gonna break sublime text <laughs> alright let's do this in a terminal then cd level 18 Python solve. Okay. Looks like the generator. Let's make it a list. Oh god. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, so each of these things oh it has those plus and less than signs, I see. Kind of. That's gotta be it. Yeah. Is that what we want for though? That has to be, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, those are just going to be the differences between each single byte. Not bytes. Is that what we want? Let's keep poking. What can we do with this now? Well, I mean, since we now have things that are split up into... What is it? What, is that? what does that say? The documentation tells us there are things that are specific to sequence 1, specific to sequence 2, and on both of them. So you know what? Let's try and put these all in their own specific files. Can we do that? I mean, since these are all hex values, they're probably all hex bytes. Probably creating an image. Or something, I guess. But I mean, since we've already given a picture, you know, freaking swans. Yeah, let's do that. Let's say... Okay, let's go back to image one. Or like, oh man, sequence one image, sure. And let's just create a file for it. Let's just call it sequence one image dot png. And since these are all bytes that we we're probably writing to it, let's write out with a binary thing. And then sequence two image equals sequence two image. And then both image <laughs> I guess let's just call it both image both image sweet and we should not have to do that in our for loop right oh, we were we were taking the difference in our for loop do we, do we even have to do that oh shoot left and right that's why it was going at byte by byte they were different whole different lines yeah 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 let's split up you know what? Let's set these to arrays. Sequence 1 and sequence 2 should be their own individual arrays. Because that way we're getting each line that has a different thing, right? Sequence 1, dot append. That line stripped. And then sequence 2, dot append. That line stripped. Because, I mean, the thing with our terminal game is when it's like each individual character, that's just, that's not what we want, is it? Because we want to find differences like this. Uh, yeah. 
Now we can compare the two of them. And now let's close all the things we already have. If I just final run this sequence one, whoa, sequence one image dot close the same thing here. Now let's try and run this. Okay, that's a little bit better. Is it? God, there's so much data. I wish I knew. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, wait a second. The documentation told us that we needed to have these in new line characters, right? Different objects. Have to have new line characters. Duh, that's why that's why it's so weird because like it looks like I can see full strings here and then a minus thing. So that's damn it. New line character. New line character. Perfect. Now, run this. Whoa! Is that good or bad? <laughs> Damn it, I wish I knew. Yeah. Okay, some of these are being differenced. Some of these are the same on both sides. Let's just, let's roll with that idea. Let's just take those differences and just leave them. I think. <laughs> so we have all of these images that we can write to. Did those actually create? Yeah, they did. Okay, now they just don't have anything in them. So, comparison is now a giant array full of differences. Um, and let's make these actual bytes. Because those are all... Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are all, like, things. So, for line in results... I guess, like, for each result. Each individual byte can equal... Line... Oh, no, each result. Beginning to the end. Print bytes... Don't print the comparison this time. Try and run this. Results. Result. Oh, comparison. I'm sorry. Comparison is the name of our of, of our list. So now we have a bunch of bytes. And let's actually take these apart. Splits. Okay. Oh shit. P kill Python. Okay, so Sublime Text is still intact. Good. I ran it within Sublime Text. Got a little worried. <laughs> um, and now we want to make these, like, character bytes, right? Since... Oh, what are these? Yeah, we have to make these... Hang on, I gotta think. Gotta make these bytes. Oh! Because they're just, right now, they're hex values. Oh, God. Stop. P kill Python again. <laughs> because right now they're just ASCII hex values, what we should do is we should actually make them bytes that Python can like read and write out, like real bytes. <laughs> so we can do that with some list comprehension, we can just say, um, obviously we will want to make it hex, a hex value for real, because right now they're just strings, like you saw. Um, B, I guess, because we'll, we're doing list comprehension, we'll, and then 16, base 16 for B in each of these. Now when we print these, Okay, they're each individual bytes. But they're just numbers right now. If we actually get them to be characters, now they will be actual bytes. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? Up at the top here, we have our escape stuff with dash D, etc., etc., etc. Okay. Now we have data we can actually work with and write out to files like PNGs and like actual things. Um, if... Each result, I guess, dot starts with... Because we now, since we want to put them in things that actually are in sequence left or sequence two, like either left or right, first one being minus, right? What does the documentation say? Yeah, minus is with sequence one. So, starts with minus, then sequence one... For bytes in bytes, sequence one will write that stuff. Sequence one image dot write byte. <laughs> and then 
for image two, right? If, if it starts with a plus sequence two right byte. And if it's in both, if it's just a space character, like the documentation says, it's common to both. So it's both image. Image dot right byte. Okay, I think that's what we want, because then we're writing every single thing, each byte, in there. Um, let's try it. Python solve. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully it did it. Both image. Oh God! <laughs> there is something there. Is that? Oh my god, what is, uh, that's both, hex dot dot slash hex bin dot html, what is, uh, fly, sequence one says fly, sequence two says butter, uh, um, what do those mean? Let's try, that's an html one, right, dot slash hex dot slash bin dot html, oh gosh, uh, and it said, dot slash hex forward slash bin html so dot slash hex bin dot html okay pluses and minuses it needs a username and password crap do we have... oh those must be uh sequence one fly and butter fly butter fly sh fly and butter F what fly butter what butter oh shit butterfly Oh, <laughs> level 19. Damn, that was cool, dude. Difflib is cool. I guess we didn't even need those images split up then, but we ended up like splitting them up on our own. The, the things that were on one side of the deltas column and the other side of the deltas column, things that existed in this. Or not, all these bytes, these are these are these have to be they had to be image bytes, right? Like what else would they be? Some of these are too high or too low to translate to like actual ASCII text values, so Yeah. And then we just loop through every single byte that we found after we converted them to actual bytes. Man, that's awesome. Slick. Diflib is cool. I'll have to I'll have to keep that in mind. Diflib. Differences between text. All right, guys, here we go. I mean, that's that's a victory. That's a game right there. Butterfly and bin <laughs> or hex forward slash bin that HTML. We're at level 19. I have no idea what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> I guess we'll find out real soon. Jeez. Um. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you soon.